Welcome back to the channel, Panthers Advice. Today, a man decided to hop on the stream real quick, do a quick stream, talk to anybody who wants to talk. But we're going to talk about Chuba Hubbard getting the big contract. And for the most part around the Panthers fan base, it seems to be pretty positive, pretty optimistic results. But there's a couple people kind of wishy-washy on it. And I get where they're coming from, right? Because you drafted Brooks with the second round pick. You're like, okay, why would you give Hubbard an extension after you just took a running back with the second round pick that you potentially reached, potentially didn't reach for. That's what we're going to dive into today. So to start with, let's talk about this right here. Let's talk about Chuba Hubbard's journey through the NFL. Cause I think a lot of people forgot how long he's been on the team. Chuba came in 2021. Now in 2021, hang on real quick. In 2021, we had, <laughs> Sam Darnold, Chuba Hubbard, Robbie Chosen, DJ Moore, Ian Thomas, Tremble, uh, also Morgan Fox, Derek Brown, Burns, Thompson, Reddick, AJ Boy. So we've had him for a little bit. And Jeremy Chin was on that team, right? Jeremy Chin might have been a rookie that year, too. And that was with uh, Matt Rule as the coach. Go to the next season. That was when we had Matt Rule and Steve Wilkes. And then we had arguably. Probably, what, our best rushing game with Deontay Foreman and Chuba Hubbard that year? I mean, I don't know that we've got anywhere near that the last couple of years. So, with Williams and Stewart for a few years ago, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, in 2022, you had Foreman, and then you had uh, Chuba. Those two together, man, they were killing it, all right? Then we all know what happened with Steve Wilkes. Fast forward to 2023. We know what happened there. <laughs> they bring in Frank Reich. And then they bring in Miles Sanders. Okay, so you don't sign Deontay Foreman, but uh, you bring in Miles Sanders. And Miles Sanders is, he's not Chuba Hubbard, but I don't understand why you would do that. I, it didn't make any sense to me. So you let go of Foreman, you don't bring in a power back. And so last year we had Chuba Hubbard, we had Miles Sanders, and we had Raheem. That made no sense, all right? On top of that, the team last year was just, it, it was just bad. I mean, look at the receiving core. You had DJ, Chark, Mingo, and Adam Thielen. Chark was hurt half the year. Mingo just got traded this year, and Adam Thielen. That, that's it. And then you had Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst was the other big free agency guy that we brought in. So, I mean, if you look at the receiving core, DJ not a factor, Mingo not a factor, Hayden Hurst not a factor, that shows you how bad the offense was last year. Fast forward to this year, a little bit better to a point because we drafted Brooks, right? So now we've got we've got Chuba, you've got Miles, you've got Raheem. One of those guys is gonna go, and obviously it's not gonna be Chuba because they just because they just gave Chuba an extension, right? So I'm excited to see the potential of this team. Now, some people have also said, okay, well. You know, if you were to be patient, you could get other running backs in the draft. So let's talk about some of the other big name free agents that we potentially could have got. You got Derrick Henry right here. He had a two year, $16 million deal. And the Ravens, if I remember reading that right, they have a team option. So they could actually release Derrick Henry. But nonetheless, Derrick Henry on that two year, $16 million, that was $9 million guaranteed. That's a pretty steep for a two year deal. Fast forward to the next guy. Saquon Barkley, three-year, twenty-six million. Whoo, three-year, twenty-six million. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I know I read that wrong. Three-year, thirty-seven million, twenty-six guaranteed. Twenty-six guaranteed. And just for reference, Chuba's contract is what? Three-year, uh, four-year, thirty-three. So Saquon had a twenty-six guaranteed. Chuba has 33 total, 15 guaranteed. Then the last guy we're going to look at is Josh Jacobs. Uh, Four-year, $48 million contract. To me, it looks like we kind of, we did a good job signing Chuba Hubbard, right? Because I don't know that I would put him up there with Saquon and Derrick Henry as far as getting the yards and the touchdowns that they get. But I believe he's right under that tier. So if that's the A-tier running backs, Chuba's B-tier, I feel like we did a good job. And Snake Man, I see your comment right there. Let me click on that real quick. Uh, we had Williams and Stewart a few years ago for a few years together. Thunder 
and lightning. Yeah. And that's what uh, people have talked about that Dan's trying to bring back is that one-two punch. You know, a couple years ago when we had Deontay Foreman, you had Chuba Hubbard in the backfield, our run game was fire. Now, the quarterback play, it wasn't consistent with P.J. Walker. I think Darnold might have been in there too. It wasn't the most consistent. Part of that was on the head coach, you know, the game plan. But we saw we saw some domination from the run game. Marco said, just subbed. I appreciate that. Now, let's talk about the other thing. Does it make sense to dr- to extend Chuba Hubbard when you drafted Brooks with your second round pick? To me, it does. All right? And the reason I say that is if we pull up Brooks's contract, where is it at? Brooks's contract is a four-year, $8 million deal with a $4 million guaranteed. That's really not that bad. So, we have Brooks for four years. We now have Chuba for four years. In four years, we're going to find out who the better running back is, or we're going to see that they're a nice tandem. But in four years, I think Chuba's going to be what? Chuba's got to be a, what, around 30, I would assume. Let's look at that real quick. I believe he's got to be around 30. So, yeah. In four years, Chuba will be 29. So, I what I think they hope happens is basically one domino falls after another, right? Where Chuba's going to be 29. I, I highly doubt they're going to resign him after that. And the next thing you know, Brooks is going to be where Chuba is right now, right? So Brooks will be, what, 25, give or take, and then they'll take another rookie running back in the draft or trade for a young guy. And I think that's kind of what they want to implement into the franchise, where, okay, give Chuba three to four more years, let him basically finish off his prime, right, in Carolina – and then in four years, Brooks will be where Chuba is now. And the domino kind of falls in place. Give me a sec real quick. That's kind of my thoughts on that. Daffy said, I know it's still early. But who do you think we should draft? What position do we need? I mean, you got, you got to think edge rusher. But my only thing with that is it all depends kind of how we finish out the season, Right. Um, and who else needs edge rushers? Like, do the, does the Carolina Panthers have the worst, you know, edge guys in the league? Are we the only team not getting any pressure? That's what it feels like, to be honest. If that's the case, I think we can get an edge rusher, unless there's other teams who have the same problem and they finish they finish worse than we do, and they go grab those edge guys instead. Because that's kind of my gut with that, Daffy is. We need edge rushers, but it just depends where we end up and how fast they're going to come off the board. My prediction, God, I want to, I want to say a safety, but I don't think we're going to draft a safety that high. I think a safety would come in the second. So I guess I'd still go edge rusher, maybe linebacker. And part of this is going to come down to who's going to be controlling the defense next year, right? Are we still going to be running a 3-4? If we are, man, we're going to – it might be a long year. I don't – I just don't know that we have the pieces, though I do like Trevin Wallace in the 3-4. A lot of people don't like the 3-4. I'm not a fan of it with our current personnel, but I do like Trevin in the 3-4, to be honest with you. Marco's signing two was a great. Shows Danik and Alice are trying to establish a homegrown culture. Yeah, and I completely agree with you. My thing, too, is, you know, they're worried about, well, you need receivers. You need quarterbacks line. I feel like we have a good offensive line. We've got our key weapons on offense, right? Receivers, tight ends. We have a solid group. If we can get Bryce to just be a game manager quarterback, we're set there on offense, right? And so if you get Chuba and Brooks, I feel like we're good. On top of that, Brooks is coming off an ACL tear. So we don't really know what to expect from him. And really the Panthers getting him in the second round – on what a what a four year eight million dollar four year eight million dollar deal with Brooks potential two million dollars a year for the next four years. Honestly, looking at that, that's actually a pretty good um that that's a pretty good deal to be honest with you. That's a pretty good contract two million dollars a year for somebody with Brooks's con <laughs> Brooks's potential. I actually thought they did a pretty good job to be honest with you. Um, I, I mean I don't know. I mean, what are your thoughts, Marcos? I mean, do you like it? Do you like seeing Chuba and Brooks together? Yellow, 
Yo, I'm having a hard time reading that from my computer. <laughs> I can't really quite read the emojis. But like I said, for the most part, man, I like where the team is headed. Let me know your thoughts, guys.